All right, now we're here for the AEW three-year anniversary. Can't believe it's been three years already. That's kind of insane. But this is a pretty stacked show here. They had a lot going on. Let's see if they lived up to it. MJF comes out to referee the Steel Cage match with not Cody. Uh, Wardlow and Sean Spears. Uh, props to MJF for wearing the Shawn Michaels fucking little booty short referee outfit. Uh, Wardlow is still handcuffed. MJF ends up attacking Wardlow. Uh, basically, basically, he's still handcuffed and they're beating the shit out of him. MJF spits on Wardlow's face. Wardlow breaks the handcuffs. So this motherfucker could have done this this whole time. You broke bitch. I love you, Wardlow. But it, um, he's murdering Sean Spears. MJF refuses to count anything. Um, he tries to power bomb Sean Spears, but we got a low blow. Then Sean Spear hits a C4. They try to fast count him, but Wardlow still kicks out. Chair shot to the head of MJF. Jesus, that looked rough by Sean Spears. He ends up as missing Wardlow. Three power bombs, then one more on a chair, and Wardlow wins. Uh, he gets MJF at the pay per view. Wardlow kills more security. Um, one of them dies. Like, I, this guy needs to be checked on. He's probably dead. Wardlow picks him up, power bombs him on the side of the cage. And the side of the cage does, you know how the WWE one kind of has like the thing that stops you? This one does not, and the guy disappears on the side of the cage and goes under the, oh, it looks so rough. Oh my God, that, ugh, oof, that's all I got to say, big oof. But this is a fun match, this is a fun thing, uh, you know, and Wardlow finally gets a win on the cage. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Jericho ends up fireballing some random guy because he's a fucking wizard, baby. Because he had a Moxley t-shirt. That's pretty dope. I wish I could do that to CM Punk fans. Let's go up to them. That's a fireball. Uh, CM Punk in the hangar. Face to face. Uh, Hangman again murders this loser on the fucking mic. People talk about CM Punk being good on the mic. He used to be. What the fuck happened to this dude? This dude's got bodied by MGF. Eddie Kingston and now fucking Hangman Pager. Like everyone's bodying this dude on the fucking mic. Oh my god. It's, it's great. Basically, Hangman says he is defending the company from CM Punk. Uh, Hangman ends up punching Punk. He still will not shake his hand. And, ugh, they're really going to have this dude lose, man. Uh, Mox and Kingston versus Private Party. Good to see Mox and Kingston as a tag team again. To me, they should have kept that going longer. I kind of wish Moxley was not in the Blackpool Combat Club with the Beatdown Clan. Uh, Private Party is getting bodied. Uh, Regal knee to an X-Plex. Uh, diving stunner into a beautiful shooting star press onto Mox for a near fall. King Kong Lariat, Death Rider for the win. Jericho and the J, uh, Jericho Appreciation Squad jump Moxie and Eddie. A big brawl breaks out. And yeah, this should be, this should be a fun, this should be a fun little thing. And sport that thing, you know. Uh, Rapungi Vice versus FTR for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. I kind of wish they would have won. I kind of wish they would have won, man. Uh, but chick a fucking uh, uh, Rapungi Vice and Kaz doing some good mat wrestling. Uh, Dax and Trent are murdering each other with some chops. Uh, Trent with the fucking triple German, and then Dax does the triple German. You know, shout out to the boy. Uh, Rapungi Vice with the double knees. Uh, draping dropkick into the gop stopper knee. Uh, fucking, but Dax kicks out. This is a fun, fun match. I, I love when FTR just has regular as not Bret Hart matches. <laughs> uh, strong zero, but Dax makes a save. Then, oh shit, how to get me excited. United Empire comes out. Cobb and the Great Ocon murder everybody. Tour of the Islands by Cobb. Dax gets put through a table. Uh, fucking Trent puts himself through a table, <laughs> uh, basically saying they want title shot. This is awesome. I am okay with this. I didn't think the New Japan invasion would start yet. Oh, also shout out to the fucking Great Ocon having the time of his life in Vegas. This dude was just going nuts, riding giant penises, hanging out with the women of the night. The Great Ocon's living it up. I'm telling you, I'm starting to like this guy. Uh, this was definitely my favorite match of the night. It is Ricky Starks versus Jungle Boy versus Isaiah Swerve Scott. Uh, Starks wants no part of this. Jungle Boy with a hurricanrana to the outside. Poison run off the top rope. A Swerve ends up landing on his feet, Ultra Instinct style. 
Uh, Spear to Swerve and the Mitsunoku Driver uh, by Ricky Starks. Uh, Rochambeau. Uh, but fucking, we get it saved. Uh, uh, Jungle Boy locks in the snare trap. Uh, Swerve with the house call kick into a double stomp to Ricky Starks for the win. Finally, Swerve wins a fucking match, man. Uh, Hobbs kills Swerve and Jungle Boy. Luchas- Luchas- Luchasaurus, I wrote here. Luchasaurus and Hobbs are going at it. Big boy shit. Keith Lee comes out. Lee dives on both men with a tornado dive. And yeah, that tag team match should be pretty fun, though. That tag team match should be pretty fun. Uh, Thunder Rosa out for a promo. Definitely her burst, her best promo to date since winning the title. And then they ruin it by playing her music early and it distracts her and she doesn't know what to do. I'll tell you, I don't know what they're doing with Thunder Rosa. It's kind of a bummer. Britt Baker versus Tony Storm here. Tony is in control until Britt rakes her eyes and slams her into the steps. Nasty hip attack. Probably the best hip attack since Umaga by Big Tony. And that ass. Uh, air raid crash by Britt Baker. Jamie Hayter comes out. Tony takes her out. Britt cheats with the help of Hayter to win. Uh, like I said, Britt Baker winning. Shocker. Uh, Samoa Joe versus Kyle. Another fun match I never expected to want. Uh, good back and forth here. Kyle is going for Joe's ribs and shoulders. Uh, Kyle with a dragon screw on the rope and then a knifey knee drop to his arm. That was really cool. Kyle with a bunch of slaps. Uh, Joe with a nice full body leg sweep. Uh, Joe with a bunch of knees to the face. It's a nasty King Kong lariat. Uh, Joe takes uh, Kyle's clothesline. Uh, basically, no sells that shit. Hits another clothesline, a big knee. Uh, Joe locks in the coquina clutch. He passes out. And we have Adam Cole versus Joe at the double or nothing finals. And uh, that's the. Uh, that's AEW three year anniversary. It was a very fun little stack show there. I feel like they did a they did a lot that uh, got me excited for the pay per view, which is like a hundred matches long. So, 